to the modifier of the week session. Uh, what we're going to use is a modifier to do this, and this means that we have randomly spread colors over these objects. That's what we want to achieve, and we want to achieve it quickly, of course. That's the whole idea. So, I've made some preparations. So, we have a container, we have all these balls inside, and now I could do it like this, select one or a couple of them and give them the red color, but that's kind of awkward because you need a lot of balls because there are about two and a half thousand balls down here in this container. So there is a trick for that and the thing you need to do first is connect all these balls and create one editable mesh of it. So that's step one. So what we do is we select all the spheres. Here we go. Select. We run a script. Mass attach which basically converts everything into an editable mesh in one go. It might take a couple of seconds because it's about 2,000 plus balls. So once this is done, all the balls are connected into one single mesh, which is now. You see, if I select it, you get all the balls selected. Um, of course, it turns red because that's the color I used. And what we do now is we start to apply the following modifier is is called material by element what does it do it can do two things it can do a random distribution based on id counts so you need a multi sub material on your mesh of all the balls let's apply that one so if i apply this one it's now set to two so the first two materials will be applied randomly on the balls here you go so if I increase this to, let's say, 5, you will see what happens is you get 5 colors spread randomly on this one. So if I change this down to, let's say, 3000, it will change again because this one is a seed, so uniqueness, so it will start spreading the colors in a different way. There's another way you can do it, is by using this list frequency. So here are your material IDs, and now it's spread 50% 50, 50 of the colors 1 and 2, which is red and yellow. So if I make this one, let's say 25, or 25, here we go, and this one as well, 25, you will get a third color with it, which is the green ones spread randomly again. Funny thing is you can actually animate this if you want to, and for instance over time if you want to have all your balls turning red again you put this one on 100 you wait and here you go so don't forget this modifier material by element because it's pretty useful for these kind of stuff to create quickly those kind of images